Hello folks, Scrimper UK back again. Today I'm going to talk about glue guns, hot mount glue guns. Most people have heard of them. I've got a collection on them here. This is a little miniature one. Don't find much use for that, but it was dirt cheap. I bought it years ago and I've still got it. I'll put that one out of the way. This is the first proper glue gun I brought, which uses normal sticks. It's thumb operated, you just push the glue stick through there. It's very, very simple. That's a Bostic one. And then my next version was this one, which I use mostly, which has got a, a lever to pour, force the glue stick through. That's the one I use most, most of the time. Then I've got a Black & Decker one, which again, I use occasionally, but not that often, because I find it's not as good as the original Bostic one. And I've got this cordless one, um, which seemed a good idea at the time. You can plug a cord in there, and then when it's hot, you can lift it off the stand like that and use it without a cord, which might be handy if you want to take it outside and things, but in my opinion, it's not as good as the mains one. Uh, it does work, but I'm not that enamored with it it's not not superb I tend to use this one most of the time now as you can see I expect you know what it is any what it does anyway but mostly you just have a glue stick like this and you shove it in the end and the little lever forces it this lever presses and it forces the glue to come out of the end like that now the thing you got to remember about a glue gun is they're very very hot and they will burn your fingers if you use one you will definitely burn your fingers at one time or another the one thing about a glue gun is, they were originally brought out for woodworking, but the one thing they're absolutely useless at is woodworking. In my opinion, they're no good at all for woodwork. You can't really replace proper PVA glue for woodworking, or some, some other type of glue anyway, certainly not a hot mount glue gun, mainly because they're bulky. The glue, the glue comes out, and it does, as you can see from there, it leaves a lot of bulk. Uh, it's cooled down a bit now, so burn my finger. But you can't, and, and also they dry very quickly so that you don't have much time. You've got to hold it very tight very quickly. It doesn't even give you time to put the clamps on. Now there are different ones. This one I don't really use. It's got a blue stripe on. And the idea is that it's supposed to be a longer setting time, so it gives you more time to put things on, you know, like clamps and things on. But again, I don't think it works. For woodwork, they're useless. But where they are good for, really, really good for, is uh, model making, like for model railways and things. And also, if you want to hold something together temporarily while you're gluing it. So, for example, if you were trying to glue... I mean, I wouldn't use it for precision woodwork, and it's certainly not for gluing two together like that. You'd need PVA and clamp it, but if you put hot melt glue on there and stuck them together, then it wouldn't never last in um, join. It would fall apart. It wouldn't be very good. You could use it for a temporary thing if you wanted to do something quickly. Um, but you could do is put normal glue on and then just put a dab of that to hold it together while the normal glue sets. But the main use of a glue gun, in my opinion, is for things like model making. It's brilliant at that because you can hold it for a few seconds. Say you wanted to, to glue this onto there. Say you were making a little stable or something for a model railway. All you need to do is put a smear of hot melt glue down there. Watch you don't get it on your hands. And basically that's it. It'll stand by itself. And if you put one on the other side like this. So you can just put a bit down there. You have to be quick because it dries very quickly. Pop that in there. Hold it down for a few seconds, and that's it. I mean, you couldn't do that with PVA. Well, you could do it with PVA, but it would keep falling down, and you'd have to put some means of holding it. So, for model making, they are really brilliant. Uh, they're also useful, I find, for sealing things. Like, if you've got a joint down there, and you, you want to run, you can run the hot melt glue gun down that joint, it could seal it, and it also, it makes the joint stronger, so um, it won't move. So it's very useful for that. It's also useful for sticking canvas and, and rubber and plastics, all sorts of things. I, I find they're very handy. I wouldn't be without one, but the one thing they are useless at, in my opinion, is general woodworking. But for other uses, they're marvellous. One thing I will say is, don't use them outside. I don't mean don't use it outside. I mean don't use the hot mark glue in a situation outside because it'll fall apart. Uh, an old friend of mine... Uh, used to make bird tables, we both did actually, and he made his bird tables using the hot mark glue gun and he was actually selling them for a while through this small shop but they all came back because he stuck them together with a hot mark glue gun and when they'd been out in the rain they fell apart so he had to rebuild them all so I wouldn't recommend using anything outside that you've stuck together with a glue gun because it won't last, not in my opinion, unless they've invented a better one that I don't know about 
Anyway, I just thought I'd have a little chat about glue guns. There you go. Bye.